Hi everyone, it's Morgan from For Love of Paper and I am here with a layout process video uh, using this month's Kitaholics kits which are based on the Simple Stories I Am collection which is really really pretty and there's lots of florals and pinks and it's very girly and I really really like it and if you've watched my channel for a while you know I don't do a lot of girly layouts and I definitely don't do a lot of floral layouts so this is a little bit out of my comfort zone but I really really loved the process of making this layout so first of all I cut down one of the 12 by 12 pieces of paper and I fussy cut all of these flowers and leaves out of the page and that took me pretty much an entire day by itself <laughs> which is quite a while um i just it was a day where i was watching movies with um my husband and the kids so we just watched movies and i cut out all these little flowers and th i knew i wanted to put them on a layout and i kind of had a bit of a vision in my head and this page kind of turns out like my vision which is um which is good quite often it doesn't so I had that little heart piece the black piece with the little hearts on it that was um, it's just from a um, six by six paper pad that I had lying around and I'd used part of it um, on another project that I was making and this was just sitting on my desk and I was like oh well that actually fits perfectly as a photo mat so I started by putting that in the middle of my page and then putting all of these flowers around it I was kind of going for like a bit of a, a a windy shape down one side of the page and spilling around over into the photo so I sped up that part of the video so you can kind of see my process how I was adding them in and fiddling around with everything uh, some of those flowers were actually the um, from the die cut pack um, that isn't from the I Am collection, it's the one that um, is exclusive to Ketaholics Kits. So some of those uh, flowers are from there and I think I add in a few of the leaves as well. So once I kind of was happy with the flow of the flowers, I got out my foam tape and started mounting the flowers. So some of them I popped on um, foam tape, some I did stick straight to the page, others I actually used two layers of foam tape to make it really really tall and just give the whole whole page um, some dimension and that little piece that I'm fiddling around with there that's from the uh, die cut ephemera pack from the IM collection and those cream colored flowers were the ones from the exclusive die cuts and then I didn't show you that entire process I cut it out but that's pretty much the finished look of all of the flowers. Um, the, the camera doesn't quite do it justice as to how high <laughs> it all actually is um, on the page. In real life it's pretty chunky. And this is just sort of finishing it off. Um, putting in some leaves and a few little doodads here and there. That flower is a rogue flower, it doesn't stay there. Then I got out these butterflies. These are also from the exclusive die cut pack. I think I put three of them on my page. I can't remember, I'm pretty sure it's three. So I've got this blue one in the middle. And I was trying to, I only put the glue down the middle of the, the body part of the butterfly so that the wings can sort of stand up. Uh, that one there I actually cut out of the 12 by 12 um, paper that there's a whole page full of uh, butterflies so I cut out that one I think I cut out this one uh, yep yeah, that one I also cut out so I just popped them on the page and two of them have the foil on them as well which then inspired me to get out um, the sequence and some gold hearts because I thought oh, that would really fill out the page quite nicely and also fit in with that that glimmery um, foily look I really wanted to get this word in there but it didn't everywhere I put it it didn't quite <laughs> fit or it didn't look oh, it looks okay there but no we leave it off it just didn't work exactly how I wanted it to work and that's when I got the sequence out 
and I just put these around everywhere. <laughs> I used quite a lot of sequins on this layout. Um, and as you can see, I just got some out and then I do a dot of glue and I put a sequin down and I do a dot of glue and I put a sequin down and I cut a couple of them in half and put them on the edges of the page and I just went to town with that. So again, I cut out a bit of a chunk of the, the video there because you didn't need to see me <laughs> just sticking, sticking sequins down for 10 minutes. And then I had the layout sitting um, for a while. I went away and I think I had some lunch or something and came back and I realized that this flower just didn't look right. It was too flat. Um, it was only on one layer of foam tape. So I went back and put another layer of foam tape under there, pulled it all up and um, made that one a bit chunkier. And then I could fit these other couple of flowers and of course another sequin uh, underneath it, um, which does look better in real life. It doesn't make much difference on the video, but um, it did look a lot better. And I wanted one of these wood veneer and that's the one I go with. Um, I knew I wanted to put one of the pieces on there. And because I really liked that, that bubbly banner border one, I'm gonna use that for where my journaling spot goes. And then just to bring the wood into the rest of the layout, I popped a couple of those wood veneer hearts in there as well. And what else do we do? So this layout took me, not including the fussy cutting of the flowers because that took hours by itself, the entire layout took an hour 15 to put together. So this is quite a long layout process video for me. So I have chopped out a couple of bits and I have sped it up faster than I normally speed it up um, just so it would all fit in and it wasn't an hour long video. Uh, these are the stickers from the I am collection and I use one of them here I can't remember what it says now I don't have it in front of me um, but I stick that in there and then I think I work on the little um, a little cluster down in the bottom right hand corner where I've put that wood veneer piece oh that's right I stick a couple of these stickers in here just again for continuity so it it flows together. I knew I was going to stick one down the bottom, so I needed something up in the the flower arrangement, I think I'll call it. And what else do I pop down there? I think I just do a label sticker. Yeah. Uh, it's not a sticker. It's one of... The, oh, no, I do use it. Do I use a sticker? <gasps> Can't remember. Oh no, it's not. It's just a die cut. So I wanted to tuck it under the um, the piece of wood veneer, but um, I'd already glued it and I'd glued it really well apparently. So I just trimmed off a very small slither on the side of it so it actually look, appears to look like it's under there. So I pop that there and I think I add a couple more sequins. I fluff around. I really wanted to get one of those... Um, resin flowers on there. Oh, I actually did put a couple of resin flowers in the layout. There's two white ones in the flower arrangement part. And I wanted to get one down there, but it would, just didn't look right. So we left it, added a couple of sequins, and I think I pretty much called it done at that point. I don't have a photo on this layout because I haven't taken the photo yet. Um, I actually end up putting my journaling in that little journal spot um, before I finish the layout and I'm going to use it for a Mother's Day photo. I'm going to try and get one, hopefully, of my mum and my grandma. Maybe me in it, I don't know, probably not. Um, I've actually got another layout coming up that's going to have all three of us plus my kids in it as well. So I think this one will just be of mum and nana. And I'm going to do that on Mother's Day. So I've already made this layout. And I haven't taken the photo yet. But um, I will probably pop one up on my uh, Instagram. If you follow me there, um, you can see the finished one with the photo. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.